I love writing just as much as the next person, but I mean, and I, 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 I'm I, honestly doing a writing a book right now myself. Um, except for I keep getting writer's block, so eventually I keep giving up on it, but I try to go back to it. <laughs> I mean, I I am working on a book series myself, like a full series. Oh, really? And um, I think I posted it in the uh, in one of the chats. Um, but anyway. Um, so what mine is about is these 10 people from earth get chosen and get shipped off to a whole new star system. Oh, wow. And while in that star system, they fulfill a prophecy that was told by a, you know, by the first queen dragon. Wow. And the first queen dragon lived for a good couple thousand years. Because that's how long dragons usually live for. Right. I mean, I, it, it's pretty much Dungeons and Dragons meets. Star. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it, nothing wrong with that. Everybody loves a good, a good game of Dungeons and Dragons. Dungeon, Dungeons and Dragons. Um, what do you give to like? What kind of advice can you give to the creative writing programs? So, for the people that are going into creative writing, just sit back, relax, and just take in everything, you know? And, and I say that not... Oh, I'm so sorry. Creative, just, and, and I don't mean that for just creative writing. I mean that for everybody. Just sit back, relax... Don't worry about nothing and just let it go, you know, because it will all work out to the point where you will have what you're looking for by the end of it. Right. I think that's, that's actually a, a really, really good I mean, and a lot of times, and a lot of times you'll have that piece of information that you may not know that it will pop up, you know, right. like you didn't even expect it and it just happened. Right. All right. Um, let's see. Well, I am going into the game development program. I guess my kind of advice for the game development program would be not to stress it too much. Um, I'm a little, I learn a little slower than other people. Uh, and I've had, or I've already had one teacher tell me to pretty much quit. Um, and at first I was thinking about it. I was wondering if maybe I really should. Maybe college isn't for me after all. And I was thinking that way for like two years, especially after high school, uh, before I found Full Sail. Uh, because I felt like I was just too slow or too dumb to go to college and actually graduate. And I would say don't let your teachers get the best of you if they tell you to give up on something. I say do your best to get through it. If they say something, maybe talk about it to someone. But um, really, 
don't let anybody bring you down. Especially if they say, if you're a female and you're in the gaming development program. That's where it gets a little more complicated because a lot of men and boys will be like, oh, you're a woman, you can't develop a game. You know, it's just the world we live in. And so my advice would be, I've had that done to me so many times. I can't remember. I can't, I can't, I've lost count of how many guys have told me I'm never going to succeed in the gaming world ever. And I pretty much just told them, you know what? I'm going to prove it to you. I'm not going to let your words get me down. Let uh, Make me give up on my dream of being a successful game developer and to create one of the most successful games because even Fortnite was created um sorry about that Fortnite was created by a full cell graduate um and so I think with full cell even if you somebody's giving you a hard time don't quit work hard don't procrastinate like me <laughs> if you procrastinate you stress I really shouldn't procrastinate this time I didn't procrastinate all that much so in my brain hole isn't my quote unquote procrastination wasn't really my doing I mean I was really trying to you know do some of these quests but it was like ugh it was just hard on my end, and yada yada yada. Yeah, yeah. But, and you had you you had your situation happen, and you know that happens. Some of us have those neurological problems that cause us to have something happen. I have the same thing, I, the same thing happens to me that happens to you when I'm under a lot of stress. It's irritating and scary, yes, because then you don't function correctly for the next couple days, you feel like crap, and you just want to sleep, but you have school, so you have no point, uh, you have no, uh, no point, no choice. no choice, but to fight through it. Really, you should do that anyways, but. <laughs> I mean, my, mine is mainly because I have flashbacks of what happened to me as a kid. Mm. And my brain still doesn't want to get over what happened over those 13 years. Okay, well, how about... Give, do you have any advice for those who may have stress-induced uh, problems that maybe they, like, some advice or programs or something that they can use so they don't have to end up going through it? The best advice that I could give regarding that is find someone that you really um, find someone that you really trust and just confide in them about it because that's one thing that I've been trying to do is find someone to confide in regarding what happens or what has happened so that when those experiences do come up. I know I have a safe outlet to reach out to so it doesn't seem as overwhelming anymore. That's great advice. Mine, uh, I have my mom as a support system. And so really I will just call her if I feel like I'm about to go into a, that kind of fit. And she usually, most of the time, is able to just calm me down. But I would say breathe. 
uh, don't think about it too much because the more you think about it, the more it's going to stress you out. Um, so I, I say try your best to breathe through it. Meditation, essential oils, incense, stuff like that can also help a lot. Um, and sleep. Don't have, don't be an insomniac because of school. <laughs> That's for sure. Um. Well, I'm. I would say that another way to help is find something that relaxes you. And what I mean by that is do something that you love doing that takes your mind off of it. Like with me, I crochet. Or I bead. Ooh, or I love I, crocheting. Or I work on my books. Or I develop a poem. You know? I just... do both. I do two of those. Crochet and creating poems that I later turn into songs. <laughs> Another great stress reliever is diamond art um i went and i did a small like little free diamond art painting just to see if it really does help with stress and anxiety and i was amazed at the results um i it it helps that's all i can really say is it helps Um, what made you want to get a degree in creative writing? Well, I figured that um, having a college degree in writing would um, help get my stuff published a little bit easier. Okay, yeah, Wishful. I can see, I can see that. Wishful thinking, but still. <laughs> hey, it's never, you can, you never say it's wishful thinking. It can happen. It probably actually does help to have an actual degree to get a profession. That's what Full Cell is all about. Once you graduate, they do their best to put you into a job. And if you go into the Hall of Fame, so many students that went to Full Cell are extremely successful in their choice of career. As So there's like a Discord was created by a Full Cell graduate. Fortnite, there was contributed to a, for, a, bleh, a Full Cell Graduate contributed to Fortnite as well as Battle Breakers. So you can get pretty successful. Well, Battle Breakers is by the same company as Fortnite. I know. I'm saying he contributed to it. I'm not even going to try to say his name because I'm pretty sure I've bombed his name when I was doing a report on him once, <laughs> so, and I felt really bad. Um, my, my thing about with the gaming, the reason I got into it is because so many, it just, even though it's the 21st century and we live in 2021, almost 2022 now, um, there's still so many people that say women should not be gaming. And so I want to show everybody that I can actually be one of the biggest and most successful women gamer creators out there. So that is my motivation. So 
I think overall, what what the kind of advice we're giving is make sure you have that motivation and that drive. Because if you don't have that drive or that motivation for this for your program, who's to say that you won't have the drive and motivation to graduate? I believe that to an extent. Overall, Full Sail is a really good college. It's a very great university. A lot of amazing people. You can meet so many friends, like I did. Yes, there, you guys are all on the other side of the country, but doesn't mean I d can't make friends. <laughs> a lot of my friends are online anyways. <laughs> that's well, 90 thanks to gaming. <laughs> that's, that mine is thanks to gaming that I made online friends. <laughs> but honestly, Full Sail University, yes, tuition may be a lot, but a lot of advantages come with tuition. So I mean, I, I got in by... Huh? Said I got in by FAFSA. So, everyone's different. You got your tuition done? Yeah, by FAFSA. Oh, yeah. There's there's FAFSA. I That's where I went through. I went through FAFSA and then applied for a bunch of scholarships because I did not want to be tied down by a student loan. That's never a good idea because you are stuck in that student loan for your entire life. <laughs> not necessarily. I mean, if you think about it, if you become successful, the student loan is like nothing. True. You'll have the money from your success to pay it off immediately. So you can look at it like that. Like, okay, I'm borrowing this as an incentive to become successful. That's, that's, that's definitely true. <laughs> but I'm paying mine through scholarships, which you can always apply for outside scholarships. There's always websites that do scholarships for all kinds of things for they have like uh there's one that literally has a learning disability scholarship uh for like a thousand dollars and so i think i i ended up getting approved for the momentum scholarship and so i didn't really worry about the scholarships too much. Uh, I mean the this uh, this what do you want to call it semesters tuition? I guess <laughs> maybe they don't really explain it all that well of how it works. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I'm pretty sure you understand what I mean. Um, I, I am really proud that I was able to get into Full Cell. I actually found Full Cell through Facebook, believe it or not. I mean, I, I've known about Full Cell since and i'm i i don't care who knows because this th this is <laughs> another one of my motivations for going to college is i i learned about it while back in prison okay i mean a lot of prisoners will like a lot of prisons will give their inmates you know, college op uh, opportunities or ideas. No, like, 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 while I was in prison and even after, everybody was always telling me that no matter what, I'm not going to 
amount to anything. Well, I'm always going. Now I'm is always your time going to prove them wrong. I'm always going to be a criminal. I'm never going to be successful because I have true. a bankrupt. That's not true, though. I have uh, uh, uncles that went to jail. And, I mean, a couple of them, I don't know what's going on with them, but they, one of them just got out of a really, really toxic relationship, and I believe the other one just went to rehab, so they're doing okay for themselves. I wish he had gone to college. <laughs> I'm the first generation to go to college, which is kind of sad because my grandma had eight kids. And I'm the first one to go to college and successfully go through okay. it all. <laughs> yeah. My grandma had 18 kids. Oh, my goodness. Really? Before she was even 30. Oh, my goodness. And then my mom. Oof. She had six kids before she was 30. Goodness. Oh, and that's, yeah. that's too, too. That's, I mean, I've, I want at max five kids at some point, but we all also will have to see how I'm doing mentally at that point. <laughs> I mean, and, and it's not like, and, and, and for those that are listening in, we're we're mainly just speaking from our hearts, you know. It, it it's just that's all you got to do. Just listen to your heart. It'll always tell you what you want, what you yes. need. Yes, definitely. And don't let anybody scare you away from going to college. That's for sure, because nobody is right except for you. Your own thoughts is what you need to be listening to. Don't let people put thoughts into your head saying that you're never going to succeed in college or that it's a waste of your time or it's a waste of your money. I've heard it all, and I am proving them wrong by going to college and showing them that going and getting a bachelor's of science degree in game development is not going to be a waste of my time. Or a waste of my, what is it, my skills. So, that's my motivation to get through it. I mean, my, my whole thing right now is... Uh, the reason why I'm shooting for my master's in writing is because I feel like with the knowledge that I'll get from, you know, getting a master's, I could, like, I, I, know, I know I'm probably not going to be the next Stephen King, you know? You never know that. Um, <laughs> all, I'm, all I'm really looking for is just to get my thoughts and passion as it were out there much like uh but i've just always wondered like how am i going to get my stuff out there because you know am i gonna have to go through some you know agency or am i able am i going to be able to find an actual publisher that'll go ahead and take my work or am I going to have to pull a Christopher Paolini and make my own publishing company just to get my books out there I mean that's that's also always something to look at more towards the middle of the school year you know and see if maybe you can find some resources that will help you get your books out there. Um, do you have any more advice for our listeners? Uh, I, so to recap, really just like, 
follow your heart, know what you want to do, have that goal in your mind, like make that a priority, like, but relax, take the time to just absorb everything, learn everything, because even if you think it might not be useful to you right now, it could be useful to you down the road. I totally agree. Because that is one thing that I have always told myself is you never know when something is going to be needed. So just hold on to it as a just in case. Right. That's great advice. Um, well, I think that's going to wrap up our podcast. Thank you for helping me give some advice to future Full Cell students. And I'm looking forward to definitely getting further into my degrees and having more students in the future. Yep. Yeah.